Thank you for tuning in to Fizz Feed Conversations, where we have candid conversations based on our opinion about things going on in the news. So I know we all know who TikTok is, right? Well, they're in a bit of a legal tussle with the United States government. And here's the deal. There's this law that was signed by Biden that says TikTok has to sell off its U.S. operation within a certain time frame. But basically, TikTok is saying, hold up, that's just not doable. They're also pointing fingers at the Chinese government, saying they're not keen on selling TikTok's recommendation engine, which is actually the algorithm that TikTok uses belongs to China. And it's a big part of why TikTok is so popular. So the whole issue started because some folk in Congress are worried that TikTok's ties to China are a problem. So they're concerned that the Chinese government could use TikTok to spy on Americans or manipulate content to influence people. The FBI has gotten involved suggesting that TikTok software could be used by China to get into people's phones. Now, TikTok is not taking this lying down, right? They're saying that Congress is basically banning them nationwide, which is a big deal considering TikTok has over a billion users worldwide, right? They're also pointing out that they've been working on ways to protect user data and keep the platform safe from outside influence. Despite all the concerns, a lot of people, including members of Congress and even President Biden's campaign have TikTok accounts. TikTok is using this to argue that they're not really a threat to Americans, and it's turning into a bit of a legal showdown with TikTok promising to fight the law in court. So far, their efforts to ban TikTok in some states by former President Trump have been blocked. It's definitely a situation worth keeping an eye on. So what does the TikTok legislation do? So the TikTok legislation signed by Biden gives TikTok's parent company, ByteDance, 270 days to sell TikTok. If ByteDance fails to do so, then TikTok will be removed from U.S. app stores and internet hosting services supporting it, effectively limiting new downloads and user interaction. So Biden's signature sets the sale deadline for January 19th of 2025 with a possible 90-day extension if progress is made, which would give TikTok up to a year before the potential ban. So what does that mean for our use of the app? So if TikTok can't separate from ByteDance by the deadline, then U.S. TikTok users could potentially be cut off by mid-January. However, this is still uncertain. So for now, TikTok fans can continue using the app as usual, they say. They might start to see more creators or company or the company itself speaking out within the app against the legislation. So what if TikTok gets sold to someone else? which is what the U.S. is requesting. Well, the problem with that is TikTok's parent company, ByteDance, is bound by Chinese law, and China has expressed opposition to selling TikTok. China has also implemented export controls on algorithms, which could cover TikTok's recommendation engine. So if China refuses to let ByteDance sell TikTok's algorithm, it could block the sale or allow a sale without the algorithm, which is crucial to TikTok's success with its 170 million US users. Without that algorithm, TikTok's future success would be in serious doubt. So I would love for y'all to tell me what you think about this in the comments. But here's my problem with all of this. We allow access to any and everyone to come into the United States and get access to the American dollar. We do. We allow people from all of these countries to come in to get a piece of the American dream and we set them up tax free and they come in and dominate while Americans are struggling to figure it out. And they take that American money they make from here and send it back home and bring more of their families over to set them up because the American dollar is worth so much more. Did you know that it takes seven yuan dollars to make up the U.S. dollar? It takes 10 Mexican pesos to make up one U.S. dollar. The South African Rand is 16 to 1. The Nigerian Naira is 1,386 to 1. 
So if I'm from Mexico and I make a hundred US dollars here, if I go home or send it home and exchange it, that's a thousand pesos in my country. So I just came up. Why do you think so many scammer complaints come out of Nigeria? If I scam you out of a hundred US dollars and I live in Nigeria, in my country, I just made 138,600 Naira. Now, I don't know how much it costs to convert it, but this is all about money. We let everybody come in and set up shop, but I can't as an American get assistance or education or anything else without paying an arm and a leg for it. So we give them the ability to stack up, to get up, to send back, and to do it all over again. We do. How do you think the Chinese have a lock on the hair stores and the nail shops? Because we allow them in to do it. So now you have this huge foreign institution that we've allowed in on a piece of the American pie during the pandemic when all of these companies were losing, American companies. And here you have this company with this app that's gaining and gaining and gaining nonstop and making money off American people that they don't have access to. And you know how our government is about, make, about you making money and not giving them in. So now they have a problem. So now this company who happens to be caught in the middle of a cyber war between two adolescents who can't seem to get along, this company has to either lose all of its money and its business or not make as much money off the sell of its business because they'll have to do it without the Chinese algorithm just because America wants to prove a point to China. I can't get to you, so I'll get to what's closest to you. Th this money-making engine called TikTok. Not to mention all of the Americans who have turned TikTok into a business. So if you remove the business, then what are they supposed to do? It's not like a bunch of businesses are hiring or paying rates where American people can be or live comfortably. To me, this is all a matter of if I can't have it, nobody can relating to our money. It's funny how things are constantly being done that can hurt us instead of help the economy. And how are we trying to control someone that we owe? Please help me understand, aren't we still indebted trillions of dollars to China? Which is crazy considering according to Forbes, the US dollar is, is worth more. What do y'all think about this whole TikTok business? Drop in the comments and let me know what you think. This Conversations. Our opinions, their stories.